Greetings everyone and welcome to the S'mores Archive. These are just all my old videos that I took down that I am re-releasing with some slight edits here and there. I did these DHgate cheapo sneaker reviews for entertainment and educational purposes and I do not endorse the sales of any replica products whatsoever. No links to any of these items will be given since these videos were done ages ago anyways. Well, I hope you do get a kick out of my old content. Okay, and today we have another parcel. This here. These were $45.50 off DHgate, and these were bought in my spree of looking for crazy collaboration off white thingamajiggies, and these were one of them. So let's have a look. The shipping was also seven days, which is, once again, crazy. So as by the title, you should know what these are. Cool. Whew, the smell. Already smells pretty cheap. That's okay, because these are clearly custom off-white shoes based on the Nike Monarch MK2 or Mark II. All right, let's have a look at them and see what they're like. Jesus, that's about to explode there. I put it out of its misery. As I've said, these are completely custom shoes. The retail version of this does not exist. The Monarch MK2 exists, but an off-white variant does not exist. But anyways, these are dad shoes because they're pretty thick and all that sort of stuff. It's got a mishmash of a lot of different parts of other shoes on it. All right, so starting with the most obvious detail, the Nike swoosh is pretty much stitched on there. Like the off-white Jordans that I've already previously had a look at, it's pretty much exactly the same thing. Just a bit of stitching there, a bit of stitching there. There's the off-white tag there. It's a bit stitched out of place. It's just like someone just ran it under the sewing machine and just went, yeah, it's good enough. Around the back here, reminds me of Yeezy 700 plus a Balenciaga triple S because it's got, you know, the layered soles, even though it's one sole. But anyways, then we have off-white for Nike night sort of if we just there we go it's the same now it says nike a little bit terribly printed uh m2k techno beaverton oregon usa 2018 yeah it's a little bit uh wonky the text but that's okay that's all good front of the shoe here we got the nike swoosh there some detailing on the toe box area we can see the distressed suede as well that goes all the way around the shoe it is a pretty solid gray color it's got you know two different shades of gray well i could have made a joke there and said it's got 50 shades of gray <laughs> The tongue is directly off a Presto by the looks of it, or perhaps a Vapormax as well. It's pretty much just that tongue there and that's it. So that's just sort of stuck there and yep, yeah, there you go. Shoelaces on the other hand, say shoelaces in sort of the right text, so I'll, I'll give them that. It doesn't say air or, you know, anything like that around them. It's just sort of as it is sort of thing and just the only off-white components are the tongue, the swoosh the tag and the text that's really it Let's have a look at the tag inside of it us 12k here's something a bit funny made in vietnam us 12k us 11 and k then an adidas qr code there i'll have to google that art code there and see what that comes up with oh it's just it's it's a sticker <laughs> it's it's literally a sticker well I'll just keep that to the side then having a look at the insole let's have a look at the insole oh whoa whoa what just fell out of there well um Yoga mat foam, or a soggy pancake, you decide. Looks fabulous, with just the Nike swoosh there, which, I mean, you could scratch that off. Look, it's just crumbling. You see all the bits of dirt and fabric and everything like that that's on there? Oh, it stinks, I shouldn't have smelt that. Blech. And all the cross-stitching inside of the shoe looks pretty normal. Nothing really to complain about. Does it feel soft? No, it's actually quite hard. Usually you push down, it's quite soft, but no, a bit hard. And just having a look at the tongue all the way down there, it looks like it's only just stitched in very minimally. So I will have to have a look at that. I might have to take the laces out and see how far it actually goes. And the sole wall, it's got some sort of stains there and I mean, it feels very grippy and stuff, so I hope it should be all good, but it doesn't have any fancy names that Nike use, because this is a shoe that doesn't quite exist. Well, it does exist, but it doesn't exist, if you know what I mean. Some creasing on the midsole there, some separation starting to happen sort of around there. You know, this would make for a good modification. You can do some paintwork in here, make it look really cool. See, there's a Nike swoosh there on the sole, which is slightly clear, and yeah, it's all looking very good. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking the profile of the shoe. They're just the one thing that does concern me at the moment is the tongue this here is also concerning me i might have to sort of glue it down maybe just to stop it because i reckon if it gets caught somewhere it's just going to rip directly off and i don't really want that to happen the seller also sent me a message before sending them out saying that these are very high quality so thank you for that Ugh. 
How am I going to get these insoles back in? These insoles are very, very difficult to get back in because they just move around too much. So let's have a look at the other one because we have the off-white zip tie. Off-white, care of Nike, 2018 zip tie, all the usual. As I said, these are like five bucks on DHgate, so, you know, bargain. The text looks a little bit better on this one than the other one. The swoosh is all bent out of place, but that's okay. I can probably just heat gun it and then sort of fold it back into place because it feels like a bit of foam, to be fairly honest. It doesn't feel that strong. But otherwise, yeah, some crap around around here. It doesn't look fantastic and it's a bit squished because of shipping of course. Let's see. Oh, the tag's already fallen off this one. That's okay. I'll just, I'll, I'll help it. Oh no, no, no. What? Hang on. What is going on here? Why is there a Nike tag on this one? There's the Nike tag on that one. US 11, AO3108011. So I'll have to do a search on that, but 2018 is what it comes up with. So why is there a Nike tag on this one? But then there wasn't on the... Oh. There you go. Don't question custom shoes from DHK. Just don't even bother. Uh, we don't get any different shoelaces or anything. You're stuck with the gray ones, but I reckon white would probably work in here. Actually, no, the gray looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and take the laces out of the shoes so we can have a look at this tongue better. Because I want to see just where it's stitched in because it doesn't feel like it's stitched in that much. I reckon you could just pull it out if you tried. So give me a second. Okay, so we've solved that issue. So the only bit of stitching for this whole entire tongue is literally just this bit here. That's it. That is what is holding the tongue down the whole way. So that's not very strong at all. This is probably going to fall apart very quickly. If you lace it up and sort of thing, it should be all right. I like the shoe. It looks pretty cool. Style-wise, it looks all right. The off-white stuff looks a bit funny, of course. But that was the whole idea of it. But I'm definitely thinking about putting some paint here, giving this a bit more flair to it, I reckon. I mean, they're customs as they are, so why not customize them even more? Anyways, I'm going to uh, do an on-foot segment and end this video because I don't really have the motivation for this one. Just not feeling it. And that's a review of these Nike Monarch MK2s, or M2Ks, sorry, M2Ks, Mark II or whatever. Cross Off-White Customs from DHgate, I like them. Just not exactly the best quality, but what can you do? What I'm going to do is fix this Nike swoosh here with some glue, I think, and just glue it down so it doesn't go anywhere. But otherwise, I'm going to wear them out for a bit, see how they go, and might customize them up a little bit more. And I don't know if I mentioned as well, the sole is actually a gray color, if you can see it there, not a white. So yeah, it's more of a very light gray, I should say. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video, whatever that may be. I don't know what it'll be. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you made it to the end, you got through some really cringy old s'mores. If you liked it though, leave a like. If not, then feel free to dislike. I'll see you in the next one.